So you join us where we left off last time. The train station is complete, but we're not yet into Steve's carts. We haven't built or even learned. Well, I've, I've done Steve's carts in other series before, and it can't be that different. People say there's Galgadorian metal involved in Steve's carts, which has got me worried. But this episode, we're not going to touch too much on Galgadorian, I think. We're going to build a railway bridge over this small gap here. It's going to be great. Then we're going to start digging into the mountain. So, get your boots on, get your cameras ready, because we're going into the mountain. Now, it's not a railway tunnel, and it's not a railway bridge, unless you use a lot of scaffolding to make it. And luckily enough, uh, with treated wood, we've got access to all the scaffolding that we need. But we don't need the tracks to be that wide, so we're just going to come along here. And only going to have this bridge be three wide, and it's going to come straight across here. Oops. And dig into the mountain at this point right here. And having a bridge be only three blocks thick in like diameter, in like kind of sideways, gives us a lot more freedom with what we're going to do with it. So we want to border the sides with the spruce wood. It's a nice wood, looks pretty great. And that goes straight into the mountain like that. And we have the wonderful treated wood scaffolding that we're going to put underneath. And the great thing is, because this block is kind of empty on the inside, it helps with depth. Depth is one of the most important building aspects of Minecraft. Uh, there is no physics, there's no gravity in Minecraft, so you don't really need scaffolding at all. But it looks good. Okay, and now it's time to start digging through the mountain, so watch me as we go through the keyhole. Now I hope my hammer holds up, but we're just going to dig a straight line and see what we come across. And we're about to break through. Oh, I see the city. So again, we're sticking with the theme this side of the spruce wood logs. The treated wood plank scaffolding and the weird kind of chiseled cobblestone as the frame or the base for where the rails will go eventually. We haven't even made the rails yet. We haven't even done a single thing in Railcraft. But, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it comes down. Now, because I love the train station we had uh, over on the other side so much, we're going to literally copy and paste the entire thing and chuck it down on this side. But it's quite a big structure, so we're gonna need a lot of space. So I'm using these blocks here, the cobblestone blocks, as the framework for where we're gonna plonk our station. Now this is gonna actually uh, probably destroy some of this park island that we have in the middle of the city, but I, that's, that's fair enough. And that's quite a paste. So as I'm running around the outside and scanning about where we've put it, it hasn't interfered too much with this uh, with this island that we have. Now you can't quite see it because it's a bit off camera, but that is perfectly level with all of the buildings that we have in the industrial district. Now I didn't want everything to be perfectly level, but it actually works out quite well for us because this is the um, this is where the railway is going to be, and so it's nice that that's all on the same same kind of level so we don't have the train tracks to go up and down too much which costs more fuel on our precious little motors 
And we're going to be going back to using stone brick to plumb in this little island. And literally, instead of building an island, we're just going to coat the entire outside with stone brick and build a little platform for it to live on. Now plumbing up the roads here, so we're using a mix of grey and white concrete. And now the roads all connected. I feel like our job is almost complete. But we also need to connect the other end of the railway station to the rail that we have coming in. So, I've built more wooden logs and cobblestone to connect up our rail bridge that goes straight back to the city. Oh, and I'm pretty proud of this. This is this is coming together really well, really nicely. And also here, where the where the railway bridge, where the kind of platform interacts with the mountain, what I want to do is have there be a bit of an overhang, so I'm building up slightly with the spruce wood. And then we're going to fill this in with dirt. And there it looks like we didn't want to clip into the mountain, but we couldn't, uh, we couldn't remove the dirt. So what we did was we tunneled slightly underneath it. And we can put some trees on top of it here, have some vines maybe that hang down. And that's going to look pretty good in the end. Now to give us a speedy way to zoom across the uh, middle of the railway track, what I'm going to do also is replace the middle block with some of the concrete that we've got from the city. And we'll just use this section of the rail as an example of what it will look like. And this is going to let us be a bit of a speedy Gonzales when it comes to getting between the city and... Oh yeah, look at this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Whoa! Loving that speed. Okay, let's finish up this bridge. Now this is just a simple bridge because this is really only going to be a train that goes back and forth. But if we can get Steve's cart up and running, this the, the bridge itself can be pretty cool. Looking forward to that. Yeah, it looks good, but also just underneath we have a whole bunch of wooden scaffolding. The treated wooden scaffolding. And that's just to give uh, the underneath a bit of infrastructure. I mean, it's all well and good having something that looks good from the angles you're looking at it. But sometimes we're going to be coming underneath the railway bridge. Or seeing it from below. And that's where we want all these treated planks to really fit right in. And make it look like a well-supported structure and bridge. Also, I want to try putting some fence posts as decoration also in the empty gaps. So we'll try that here, experiment a bit. So we want to replace air, which is zero, with 188, which is spruce fences. I like that look. I like that look. We'll go with it. 
And there we go, the train station is complete this side. Just a pure copy and paste job. And we've plumbed up the train station with a nice rail bridge. Lots and lots of spruce logs were used in the construction of this, uh, this rail network, but it's looking pretty good. We still have yet to actually put any rails down. And rails are an expensive resource. We're gonna need a lot of iron if we wanna make them. But Steve's cart is an exciting prospect, so I can't wait to get started on it. So let's jump back to the farm and look for, look for a place to set up Steve's carts.